Good morning, baby bean. It's Valentine's Day. I want to say hello to everybody on Baby Bean Storytime. My name is Grandma Cookie. And today I'm going to tell you a story. But first, I want you to grab your favorite stuffed animal, maybe your favorite blankie, and find your favorite reading spot. We are going to read Happy Valentine's Day, Curious George. And Curious George was Baby Bean's favorite, one of her first favorites, I believe, cartoons that she loved to watch when she was one, before she was one. And I found the book, which they're not easy to find. So when I found this Valentine's book, I knew exactly what I was going to read for Valentine's Day. So we're going to get started with Happy Valentine's Day, Curious George. Um, it's written by Andy Angelo. This is a flip. It's Fold Out Flaps, so it's going to be a fun little book. This is George. He lived with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. It was Valentine's Day. George and his friend invited the neighborhood kids over to celebrate. George was so excited. We have a door to open. There's all his friends. First, George and his friends decorated the house. George loves balloons. How big could his get? Big? Bigger? Pop! Then they decorated cookies. There were three colors of icing and many different kinds of sprinkles. The icing looked nice on George's cookie. And it was fun to juggle too. Now, what would they do next? Make Valentine's, of course. George made a special card for the man with the yellow hat. But, oh, what was this? That big box was certainly very interesting. Perhaps he could create something with it. And George thought and thought. Then George had an idea. He put a bow here and some glitter there, then cut a hole in the top. George was making... a fancy box for the Valentines from his friends. Everyone began to clean up. Before he knew it, all the hard work made George a very sleepy monkey. Soon the man with the yellow hat and the children came looking for George. Now where could he be? All they found was a big box. Until the man lifted the lid off the box. And out popped George. They were all so happy to see him and the children all cheered. Happy Valentine's Day, George. Then 
Valentine's Day can be a fun holiday. You get to make gifts for people. You can um, make cards and give out conversation hearts and chocolates and Hershey kisses and um, give out cards to your loved ones and your friends and have parties. And Valentine's Day is just a fun holiday with reds and pinks and whites and and things that you can do to celebrate your love for your friends and family and something that can remind you to do it year long. You don't have to do it on one special day. You can do it any day you feel like you want to celebrate somebody that you love. I want to thank you all for watching and I'm going to get this hopefully out in the mail today so Baby Bean can have it for Valentine's Day. I know I said Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I do try to read my books in advance and stuff so sometimes I can get them to Baby Bean so she can read along when the story comes out. So thank you all for watching. We will see you next week.